Hello there, I'm Manu and welcome to the Dress My Craft YouTube channel. We will be making up something really cute today and before we start, don't hit, don't forget to subscribe to the Dress My Craft channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. So we would be making up some 3D project today and it is a fairy house, a hello sunshine, 3D shaped in a mushroom, in the form of a mushroom so it's kind of a fairy house so let's begin so we would be using up the whispering love paper collection this collection comes in two sizes a 12 by 12 and a 6 by 6 along with the motif sheets and i really loved all those tiny gorgeous floral patterns over there along with that we would be using the, the nesting circles die and a little shape that i have pre-cut so you can have a look at this shape and this shape would be the dome, the top cover of the house. And now we are choosing which papers do we need from the paper pack. Uh, I would be picking up a total of 8 papers and 4 for the top of the house and 4 for the bottom circle. So the circle would serve as the the bottom portion of the fairy house and the template that I showed you a little template that showed you in the beginning will serve as the the top portion of the house so once I've selected which papers to use for the top and the bottom of the pie of the house <coughs> I uh, would be using my template to trace it out on the papers and then cut them out so I've used a total of 24 pieces to make the top of the house also along with this I have cutted out the circular um, the circle shape with the uh, die cutting machine using the nesting die so I have the circle die cuts the 24 of them that I have die cutted along with the 24 pieces of the top of the house which I have uh, cut it out after tracing the template on the paper what we would be doing next is we would be uh, scoring them each in the middle and then uh, folding them along the scored line So we now have all the uh, cut it, the cutout pieces. What uh, we would be doing is we will be assembling it up now. Uh, but remember to put the glue just at the corner because that will give a little more depth and it will give a little more flair to the house. And do not stick the complete one side of one cutout piece to the second side of the second one so just have a look what I did here uh, closely I only applied the glue to the portion where I want to stick it just a little of it so that it will give me a little more flair to my fairy house so I would be doing this for both the circle and both the top house uh, the top portion the top cutout elements for the house Uh, so you can see the little difference uh, you know what uh, the little difference it comes to when you stick both the sides together and when you stick just the edges together uh, this one gives me a little more flair and once it's done I would stick the two uh, opposite ends together so that it gels well 
the similar thing is what I will do with the circular tie. Now here is a little tweaking that I did. You can see that I have cut it out a little portion from the bottom of the top house. I did it because I wanted it to sit properly on the circle and uh, elsewise if I would have not done it, it would have been very difficult to you know uh, make it sit on top of the circle. So uh, after I had glued it, I realized this. So I went ahead and uh, did all this cutting it took me a little time but then uh, i really wanted to uh, make the difference and i didn't want it to slide down the fairy hat so this part is what i really love and this part is all about embellishing your project so the base is ready and i already have the pre-cut uh, motif sheet i normally cut out a little of the you know motif sheets before i start my projects and i do that whenever i get a little free time so that i do not have to go back and hold my project because my motif sheet is not ready so uh, these are all done when i have a lot of free time so i am using the motif sheet from the whispering love collection and also i have picked up a few elements from the other motif sheet like the floral floral fantasy paper pack and i think uh, this little window die cut or this little frame is from the romantic roses collection try to embellish a lot on this tiny mushroom uh, shaped house so sit back and see how I do all the embellishing
am now using a little gesso to uh, tone down all the colors and make it a little more uniform so that everything gels together gesso is a very uh, versatile medium and it can be used to prime your projects as well as um, using it really tones and gels everything together on your project I am now using the gel matte medium by Finnabare and the silver pearls, I'm sorry, the white pearls by Dress My Craft to add a little sparkle and a lot of uh, uniformity to my project. I would also be using the pink sequence from the um, my collection, I think it's pack of 12. Uh, solid color sequence and uh, it is really a must have pack because all the colors are so nice they are so subtle and i'm sure you will love them all so i am putting a little finishing touches to my project here and i hope you really like the project and would want to try one for yourself So here is the complete project and I hope you like this little video of mine. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.